What's up guys, it's Tony here, welcome back to Man Cave Studios. Ladies and gentlemen, I have filmed 32 videos for Man Cave Studios this summer, but today I'm going to be talking about more in depth what has been going on behind the scenes this summer. And for the first time ever, I'm going to be using pictures on my phone for notes. So do whatever you want with that information, I guess. So this summer technically began for me on May 14th. That was the day that I was recording a lacrosse game for ESPNU. It was also the day that I realized I was completely burnt out from everything that had been going on since January. But a major thing in helping me realize that was the fact that even though I really like what I do and I really enjoy being a freelance camera operator, Sometimes it's not too fun, especially when you wake up with food poisoning at 4 a.m. and it pours all day while you're trying to operate a camera for an outdoor event. So that kind of set the tone for the next month and a half. Most of what I tried to do was just watch the Stanley Cup playoffs and eventually the Stanley Cup final and just stay at home as much as possible. As, as weird as that sounds, that was exactly the life that I wanted to live at that point. But there were still a few things that I was doing, you know, I wasn't just sitting at home being a slob every day. I wound up speaking at an elementary school about being an author, and it was the elementary school of my second grade teacher who was still, is still my favorite teacher that I've ever had. So that was a really cool experience, and I got to bring in a couple of my books and just talk about what it was like being an author and what it was like publishing books. And on top of that, there were a couple of union games that I went to. I skipped the one that was the day of Game 6 of the Stanley Cup Final, but I did go to the one that was on uh, the day of Game 2 of the Stanley Cup Final. And luckily, most of the time, there weren't any games because the field was getting redone. But there were a couple of games that I did go to over the course of that month and a half that the Stanley Cup playoffs were going on. But in the middle of June, another thing that I did was I did this bike ride to Philadelphia, which I vlogged. And that was a really cool experience for me. Uh, I biked to a train station. At, it's called Westmont. And there really isn't that much public transit in New Jersey and Pennsylvania, even in Philadelphia. There's only minimal public transit, you know, compared with New York or London or one of those other major hubs. Uh, but it was a pretty cool experience just but being able to bike to a train station and then bike around Philly, which is something that I've never done before. But that was just one thing that was on my bucket list for the summer. And then when the Stanley Cup final ended, which I just realized is quite ironic that I'm wearing this shirt and they lost the Stanley Cup final. Uh, but after the Stanley Cup final ended, that's when I started to do more things on my bucket list. One of those things which was an easy thing was going to see a Phillies game, so I took my parents to a game for their birthday in early July. And yes, I say their birthday. Their birthdays are July 8th and 10th. So it makes it really easy to plan birthday gifts for the both of them. So I went to a Phillies game, and then my mom and I went to a Phillies game, and my dad and I also went to a few union games in July. And so July was a really fun month because I was not just sitting in my basement doing nothing anymore. I mean, part of the time I was, but part of the time I wasn't. I was interning with my two internships. I was going to these sporting events and I was just having a great time. But all of this was kind of building up to what was going to happen in August, which is now. Uh, and one of the things that I did so far in August was see a New York Mets game. So like I mentioned in that vlog, I've kind of been touring ballparks since I was like a teenager. Um, I went to the Arizona Diamondbacks stadium in 2015. Even before that, I went to the Pittsburgh Pirates stadium in 2014. Saw Padres and Dodgers games in 2017 and actually Chicago White Sox that same year. So just adding another one to the list. We went up to City Field, my dad and I, and saw a New York Mets game, which was also a really fun experience, because they have quite an atmosphere up there, and that was fun to be a part of. And then over the course of the summer, you know, some of the day-to-day -day things I've been doing have been just working on my campaign. For those who don't know, I'm running for a local office, so I've been working a lot on that. I've also been reading a lot of books. I've got two of them here. This is my non-fiction one that I've been reading for a while. This is my fiction one that I've only been reading for a few days, which is a little bit more entertaining, to say the least. Oh, I also got a magazine over here, you know, The Economist. So, you know, I, I've been doing a lot of reading this summer. I've also been writing. We'll see if that comes to anything. I finished the first draft. I've had a tough time with the second draft, so usually what that means is I'll 
give up on it at some point, but, you know, the first draft was, a, you know, it, it's a comedy book, so it was pretty funny. Um, at least I like to think so. Uh, so we'll see if I finish it, I guess. And then there are a couple of things that have been going on, uh, one of which happened a few days ago. My dad and I went to another union game, and then there's something happening this weekend, and a subsequent vlog should be coming out, and that will be the last uh, normal upload of the season. But anyways, that is going to be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. This summer has been amazing. And even though it's coming to an end, I have a good feeling about the fall, and I think you'll like some of the vlogs and stuff that are coming out in the fall. But I'll talk more about that in the final announcements video. But anyways, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out, Brewskies.